everybody on this miserable rainy May day. Um, which is the end of May and this is just unreal because it's not unreal, it's completely believable because it's Britain and it's always rubbish. But there we go, I'm not in a very good mood about it, but I am in a good mood about the fact that we have now got a three day holiday, even though I'm going to spend it doing my dissertation for my master's degree. Which is, by the way, why I'm a little bit kind of ruffled and panicked because I've got so much going on at the moment and it's really hard to find the time to just kind of relax and enjoy my beauty things. But that's what I'm going to do for the next few minutes, so enjoy along with me this little moment of respite. Also, my mum's on her way for her royal visit and I haven't dusted in all of those places that she'll check, like tops of doorways and cooker hood and things like that. First thing is not just a monthly favourite, it's an all-time favourite. It's been on its side, so it's not looking very attractive. This is L'Occitane's um, Almond Milk Concentrate and it's just the best body cream, it's amazing. Smells gorgeous, but not too overpowering. And it's in this gorgeous heavy glass jar, so it makes a perfect present if you're thinking of getting somebody a body lotion present. Um, and anyway, I just love it. I've loved it for years and years. This one is nearly empty, so it's time for a replacement, which is why, in fact, I noticed it and thought I must put that in a video. On the subject of body lotions, uh, this is the new one from Roger A. Gallet. And this is a fig one. If you're a fan of fig, a fig a fig fan, <laughs> in terms of fragrance, then you'll love this one. It's figgy, but it's also kind of fruity and light, and I just think it's gorgeous. I actually prefer the body lotion in this range to the fragrance itself. I think it's just got a really nice kind of lingering presence to it, and you, when you use it and it gets in your clothes, you can smell it on your clothes for weeks afterwards, and I just really, really love it. So I should put the link to I think it's on Marks and Spencers online, that one. I'll put the link below. And then one more fragrancy type thing, even though it's completely unfragranced. I don't know whether anyone's used this. This is the Kiehl's deodorant cream. Now, I was really skeptical about this. I just thought it's never gonna work and it's gonna leave white stains. It comes out through this hole and then you kind of do your underarms with it. In actual fact, it's very, very effective. Um, I'm not a particularly sweaty person. Mm, can't believe I'm gonna go into this. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of medium sweaty, medium to mild sweaty. Um, I don't sweat a lot. <laughs> so I suppose I'm not like an extreme deodorant tester or anything like that, but um, obviously, you know, I do need to wear a deodorant, like most people. And I found this one to be very, very effective. A whole day on and off the tube, running around and um, not a peep from the old armpits. And also, it's unscented. It says with orange, lemon and linseed extracts, but it doesn't have any kind of fragrance or anything like that in. So if you like something that's completely unscented, then you'll really like this. Sniffing that and it's been under my arms, that's nice, isn't it? Moving on now to skincare. Now, um, if you've been following for a while, you know that I had problems last year with spots and then I talked about those in a video a couple of weeks ago about my milk spots problem. So in the last few months, my aim with my skincare has been to reduce the little dark spots that the acne left. Each one of the spots basically left quite a... they all seem to come from very deep down so they all left a mark and the thing that I found most effective, which is a big surprise, is this. It's Miracle Worker Dark Spots Corrector from Philosophy and I've tried quite a few different things but I've used this constantly every night for about six weeks now and I've seen quite a dramatic difference actually in little dark spots that I had here and the ones that were around here. So I think that's really, really good. Um, I haven't read any other reviews on this yet, so I should really do that. I hope it's not just me or in my mind, but um, it does seem to be really doing the trick. The other thing that I've been using to the same end is the Alpha H Vitamin E treatment and just really massaging that into the areas that have got um, the kind of blemish marks and I found that quite effective as well. So um, I think the most important thing when you're trying to get rid of these marks is to make sure that you don't kind of go into the sun and make them worse. Really use a good SPF on your face and make sure that you're, I mean, I don't really put my face into the sun anymore. So, um, you know, I think that's the major first step, I suppose, in trying to get rid of your dark spots. Another skincare thing that I really like are um, these kind of rose water pads, they're cleansing pads from This Works and it's part of the In Transit range. Now, 
It's actually quite a big bulky pot if you were in transit. Uh, I'm not sure that I would travel with a pot like that, but actually for at home, I find it really useful. Pads look like this. And they're just really, really gentle, very soothing. You can use them over the eye area. I don't recommend cleansing with wipes or anything like this as your main cleanse, but if you just want to freshen up or um, you're wearing kind of next to no makeup, or no SPF, and you don't need to do a proper cleanse, then they'd be really nice. They're very gentle and fresh, and I really like those ones. And then we have uh, a few makeup things. Now, the first thing is from Max Factor, and this is a compact foundation. And I use shade 45 Warm Almond. Um, and I just think this is really, really gorgeous because it's got a very light liquid feel. It reminds me a little bit of the Chanel Aqua Compact. Uh, it's got a very liquid feel, but the foundation has got quite good coverage. And it's really buildable and it blends out very, very nicely. And I find these compacts really useful. It's not the ideal packaging. I'd probably prefer to have like a flip up mirror lid, but product wise, really, really nice. And obviously a lot cheaper than the Chanel one as well. So one worth thinking about. And then the other foundation I've got here is the, where's it gone? I'm looking down because I've got a big box of beauty things beneath me there. Um, the other one is the Lancome Tante Visionaire. A lot more expensive. This is kind of getting into the premium makeup realms, really. But this is um, quite a new release for Lancome, and you'll probably see it if you go into any beauty hall, you'll see they're doing quite a big drive on it because it's a new release. And it's part of the Visionaire family of Lancome skincare products. So it's makeup, but it's also being pitched as skincare as well because it's infused it's my mum texting again. It's infused with uh, the Visionaire kind of serum that you can get, the quite heavy duty anti-aging face treatment. So it's like a hybrid between makeup and skincare, although I would definitely put it into makeup because it's quite a full coverage foundation. It feels really nice and light though. It's not cakey. I've been using it a lot recently. I use shade 010 and in the lid here you have the concealer part, which is very handy, a little mirror. So I think for if you've got slightly more mature skin and you feel like you want some kind of skincare benefit from your foundation as well, and you need a little bit more coverage, then this is well worth the little bit of extra money that you'd pay over just kind of flat, normal foundation. Um, I just, I really like it, I really like the texture. I've got no idea what the long-term benefits have been for me because I haven't obviously used it for long enough but I like to think that the Visionaire in here is doing something as well. But only time will tell. So that's the other foundation that I'm using a lot of this month. And then my last thing, if I can feel around for it, is this, Sunday Riley. And this is the Effortless Breathable Tinted Primer. Now, I know that with a primer, you're gonna put a foundation on top, but actually this is very, very useful, this, at um, evening out the skin tone before you apply your foundation. So it just gives this kind of extra layer of perfection and it leaves the skin really, really smooth and just has this, this light diffusing blurring effect that makes the skin look a little bit more perfected and healthy. So I really love that and I've been using it under loads of different ones of my foundations really. I've tested it under pretty much everything. Oh, my mum texted me from Tesco's. Um, yeah, I've tested it under pretty much everything and there's nothing it doesn't work under. It just gives a really nice grip to the foundation and makes it last all day long. But as I said, again, just gives a really good base to put that onto. So I've been using this a lot. It's quite expensive, so I'm having a little bit of a panic attack at the thought of that running out. And that is everything because I have to just go and text my mum back and tell her that I need chicken breasts and a courgette from, um, from Tesco's. Otherwise she's gonna go and I won't get them and then I'll have to go out in the rain. So I must go and do that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. I'm putting loads of stuff on Instagram at the moment and having quite a lot of fun with various cat pictures. So if you're on Instagram, make sure that you're following. I'll put the link below and um, have a good bank holiday to everyone that's in the UK or anyone that's got a bank holiday. And I shall see you next time.